Hey guys, so today I will be explaining about uh, what is a lunar eclipse and why does it actually happen? How does it happen? What is the role of Earth and Sun in it? Why does it appear so red? How many times does it happen? And so let's get started. So right now we are looking at a video by NASA's Godard um, YouTube channel. So particularly what this video is trying to explain is that, and I think so this is really a good visual representation that's why I chose this video, but there are really other good videos um, on the internet that explains it really well. But this actually gives us a visual idea of um, how does it happen. So just to keep in mind, this visualization is showing that Here's the sun, there's the earth, and there's the uh, moon. So what happens is that, of course, the moon doesn't always have an orbit around the earth and doesn't always have an elliptical orbit. Um, but just for physics sake, just for like simplicity's sake, we are taking it as a circular path. Um, and also to keep in mind that the uh, path of the moon around the earth uh, is most of the times um, tilted at an angle. So in this one, just to start with it, it shows that how when the moon goes around the um, earth uh, within a period of 30 days, is approximately 30 days, is uh, how its phases changes. So we know that there's phases of moon, like waxing moon, gibbous moon, uh, half moon, full moon. So that's what uh, is trying to be is being explained in this video how it goes around so our basic focus today this time uh, at this video is to see how lunar eclipse actually happens so what they're trying to say is that whenever there's uh, so that's the earth's shadow uh, you can see that that's the darker part where the sun doesn't reach uh, and uh, that's the orbit of the moon so they're trying to say in an year twice a year uh, lunar eclipse happens and at that time when there's twice a year when it's happening the orbit of the moon around the earth instead of being tilted it becomes straight and that's why the uh, the the moon it comes under the earth's shadow and you can see then how it changes and changes and changes. And that's how they're also explaining how solar eclipse happens. So basically that's what they're trying to um, say. And this is what uh, what we call a lunar calendar. So that's what a um, lunar calendar looks like and how every month has a full moon in it, a different waxing moon, a gibbous moon, moon a new moon as well. So that's what, um, lunar calendar looks like and and now you would be wondering then if that happens if moon around its orbit passes to the uh, earth's shadow like why doesn't it happen uh, like every month why doesn't the lunar eclipse happen every month so this is the part that explains so this is the tilted orbit of the moon around the earth and once it goes and goes around but once it reaches a certain point in the year it's um the lunar eclipse happens when it passes through the earth's shadow so that's what the visual representation is trying to show and that's how it changes and changes and changes. And once it enters that, you can see that the uh, moon's, moon's um, that the light is blocked by the Earth's shadow. So the Earth's shadow, that's called umbra. It it um, it covers the moons. Uh, it kind of hides the moons, moon. Um, and that, of course, the how the moon is actually not um, an object that actually gives the light. It's the sun's reflected light. And when the uh, when the Earth is the um, only obstruction between the sun and the moon, then uh, that shadow that's created by the Earth on the moon is called umbra. And that's how it looks like. So that's what happens is, and they're also trying to explain why does the moon during a lunar eclipse gives the red light because, <clears throat> because uh, due to the natural phenomena of scattering to the, uh, the white light scattering to the earth's um, atmosphere due to different dust particles and at an angle, uh, uh, it appears to be red. So that's why whenever we see a sunset, 
or a sunrise is the earth's uh, the the white light is scattering at an angle it happens when the uh, red light is the most scattered uh, at a really um, high angle so that's why the moon appears to be red during a lunar eclipse so hopefully this explains that how lunar eclipse happens. So just to make it clear that uh, the Earth's, the moon's orbit around the Earth is uh, not a perfect um, at a 90, at a 180 degree angle. It is tilted a bit, but twice a year, it happens to be in a straight orbit at 180 degree angle. And whenever that happens, the lunar eclipse happens. So whenever there's sun, the source of light and the Earth's uh, Earth shadow that comes in between the uh, moon's orbit, it, um, that Earth's shadow is reflected on the moon and uh, um, that is called the umbra. The reddish light is because of scattering of white light at an angle. So hopefully that explains it well. And uh, it is also a fun fact that whenever I try to see a lunar eclipse, it's usually cloudy, but it's probably because I'm in Canada, but it is what it is. So hopefully you learned something new today.